Good evening and welcome to Champions Poker Live. Tonight it is the final table of the Mystery Bounty Tournament. From a field of 1,276 players, we're down to the final nine. We are live in Houston, Texas. This is Dan Fouts with Kyle Miller. How's it going tonight, Kyle? It is going great. Great. And this is our lineup here. We'll be talking about these players. You can see our biggest stack right now is Derek in the three seat. Short stack is Ben in the sixth street. This is a bounty tournament, and players have the option to draw for their bounty as soon as they eliminate somebody, or they can save it up and draw later. We have five bounties that are about to be drawn before we get the cards in the air here. The players have been waiting. There's still, I believe, a 10K, a 5K bounty in there and season tickets to the Texans. Here is our lineup. Starting out in the one seat is KC from right here in Houston, a real estate inve investor who says he's just an average player, but he final tabled our monster stack and got sixth place. And here he is back on the final table again. And to his left is Mo, favorite hand, 910 suited. He's an engineer sitting with a pretty healthy stack at 4.2 million. So he's also really tall. Don't know if you saw him earlier, but probably tallest player on the table. Yeah, he just about smashed the cameras getting into that spot there. In the three seat, we've got Derek. He is the big stack again with 7.36 million. He's been playing for about 10 years. He says he loves Texas and Texas poker is the best, but he also wants to say, Louisiana, stand up. Go Tigers. Two biggest stacks right next to each other, Derek and JP. JP's got 7.265, Derek has 7.36. JP's here, here from Sugarland just says he's a pro poker player and final tabled champions here last series. I've played some mixed games with him. Pretty cool guy. Seat five is uh, away from the table at this point, but we've got Ben in seat six. He is currently our short stack with just over a million in chips. An engineer from here in Houston who says his favorite hand is Queen-10 suited. He's going to have to make something happen here. He's got about a quarter of the average stack right now. Yeah, and then a couple other players away from the table as well. So we'll jump around to seat nine. Waco Scrub here from Waco, Texas. He's in sales, but does really well for himself within poker. He's the Lodge High Roller champ from 2023 and the Monthly Monster Champ as well, same year, 6.56. He's the reason why we got to this final table. He called off uh, Ace-King versus uh, Open Jam by Queen Jack. Queen on the turn, Ace from Space on the river, and that brings us here to our final nine. Oh and here's our tournament director, Brian Freydes, getting ready for these Over. Bounty draws. Right, let's go. Looks like we've got KC drawn first. It's over. <laughs> 500. JP suggesting that those season's ticket, season tickets for the Houston Texans, still one of the bounty polls remaining. I don't want to throw. There might be 25,000 in there. There's not in the article. $500. If it's 25 k you need a ticket. I know that. I know that. KC's going to end up with another 500 in addition to what he's guaranteed for final tabling here. All of these players guaranteed 4,200. First place, though, is 38,128. Yeah, and obviously to get here to the final table, a lot of these players have pulled bounties throughout the day. Two $500 bounties. Those are the smallest bounties in there, so obviously a little bit disheartened by that. Hey, no deal. We don't want no deal. We closing the box. Throw it on the ground. Oh, my God. You guys are killing me. JP drawing next. Oh, there it is. He's got the ticket. Ticket. Oh, he got him. He wanted him, and he got him. Season tickets to the Houston Texans including seat licenses and parking passes for all of next year. What a lucky pull for him. Are you happy? He gets used to Texas tickets. You are happy. Look at this. I had two chances. How cliche. I would have been pissed. He deserves Get another 500 draw. He was a fan before they was cold. 
Hey, that's a, hey, you need to post that. They might give you some for that. You've been a but fan before they was called. Them. You need to tell them you want free season tickets. That's worth $8,000. Yeah, I'm actually yeah, one more draw that here. Going to squeeze that ball, get Dude, it pop I open. I can live <laughs> there with you that go. Right He's a true fan. And guess what I had to call to get this thing. Another $500 bounty. I can live with yeah. Doyle. And I can a good look of true Texas fan at the background. There we go. So you keeping them or selling them? More tournament action going on behind us as well. He's the only one that would have kept them out of all of them. That's why I'm not mad about him getting them. I agree. He was the only one on this whole table that keeps them, I promise you. If I had to guess, that's why I can't trip. I, like, that was meant for you. But now we go? JP with second biggest stack and got the bounty prize that he wanted. Things getting started in a positive way for him at this final table. So that's a variance, right, if they make playoffs. They're going to make the playoffs again. They're always going to get better. Average stack currently about $4 million, which is about 35 big blinds. Blinds currently at 60 and 120,000. You can see those big lammers there in front, or uh, big plaques rather, in front of those guys are worth 500,000 each. The white chips are 100,000. The greens are 25,000. And the pinks are 5,000. 5,000 chips will be coming off at the end of this level. It's big chip poker. Folds around to the blinds and Waco Scrub wakes up with a six. He's going to raise it up to 300,000. KC finding 10 high will not defend. Yes, sir. And hand one goes to Waco Scrub. Was it on your mind? Was it on your mind? That's crazy as fuck. Well. So there we have a shot of KT in the five seat back to the table. He was away when we did the player introductions. KT is from Katy, Texas. Sitting with 2.4 million to start. That's a story in itself. they make y'all push y'all spikes like that? No, I just did it because I can't even say what I'm thinking. <laughs> JP was the first player to have plaques out on the floor when we were down to two tables. Yeah, welcome to the plaque line. This is my first plaque line. On you, man. Oh, shit. I'm picking a big one. I've been drinking. I've been... What the fuck more you need? JP waking up with suited ace 10. Raising it up to 250,000. The day we make final table together, I bring the right. I have them sitting. Takes it down without a fight. Every day I see them, so you know. I will. When it's on the right day, it has to be. Or we Fearless Phantom also at the table in the seven seat. Yeah, in the hoodie there, one of the players that was away when we were doing the introductions, and next to him in the pink shirt is Gooch, one of the other players that was away. Gooch has been on our stream before. He says, he, when we asked what his poker accomplishments were, he said playing on this stream and calling off Ken eight, your King 8 offsuit for $6,000. <laughs> yeah, he is a professional small blind game player. He was here for the Joker Stars stream when they were playing the small blind game. It's good to be a professional small blind game player when uh, the stakes are pretty big. So things are folding around to the blinds now. Suited queen five for Mo in the small blind. And Derek, jack three. Decides to exercise his option. 
bump things up. Big raise here. Putting the pressure on, saying don't just limp in to my blind, my big blind here. I've got the chip stack. Nick, JP want to say, I want to hear what he said. The only problem is that I promised everyone in my think of the game that would ask me. So now, oh, I, now I owe like 10 people tickets to see, uh, the game. <laughs> yeah, but it's a good problem to have, bro. It's over. It's a good problem to have. I forgot to ask JP to take me to the game if he won, apparently. <laughs> JP and Derek gets, getting lots of love in the chat. You left the house this morning. I made week. people sticking with you every week and make you go to the game every week. I would have been cool with it. I bet you would have. For real. You a Saints fan? No, I'm, I don't really Not watch NFL fan. much, so I would enjoy I'm Texas. I like Joe Burrow and them because they're LSU, but I don't really like NFL. And Ben folding the King What's 8 offsuit. He's free rolling this final table. He already locked up over second place money. He was our $25,000 bounty pull recipient. Lucky guy and already guaranteed another 4,200 here. But of course, everybody at this table is trying to go for that first place prize over $38,000. Folds around to the hijack. Waco Scrubs gonna raise it up to 300,000 with ace four. And JP unlikely to, to defend the big blind with 7-3. This raise will pick up the blinds and ante for Waco Scrub. And another thing all these players won here, and what you can win as well, some free photos. You may have seen Alicia in the background. She'll be taking some final table photos. We already posted up the official final table photo to our social media. But she's in from 8131 Media and uh, taking pictures throughout the entire series. So if you want to play some great tournaments, amazing structures on these tournaments and get some really nice free photos done for you, it's pretty cool. Yeah, plenty of people tuning in and supporting some of their friends. Adrian Curry tuning in, Hibiscus Flower, Bobby Filet, of course, Small, Corey Jordan. Good to see all of y'all in chat. Shane as well. So we have KC limping in the hijack with Queen Jack offsuit and Mo deciding to raise things up here with the suited ace eight. Yeah, surprised to see anybody limp at this stage of the tournament, especially with a decent sized chip stack there. Folds back around to KC and he appears to be reaching for calling chips with the Queen Jack. Nope, thinks the better of it and gets out of the way. And you do see it there at the top right of the screen. Nine remaining of 1,276 entries. Just amazing turnout for this tournament. Smash the guarantee. Headed to extra bounties. I think it was an additional 10K bounty pool that got added as well. Yeah, really great turnout. 300K was the guarantee for both the bounties and the prize pool. I think they ended up with 229,000 in the prize pool and something like 200,000 for the bounties as well. Pretty crazy. A couple sailboats for Waco Scrub. He is from an early position. Derek's got suited gapper here. And the cutoff. Of 
doesn't want to buy the button. Button folds as well. Diamonds aren't coming. KT finding playable hand for him in the small blind. Likes to just call here. And we'll see a flop heads up. Four still in the lead. KT checks. 225 is the bet. What are we doing tonight? KT making the call. My dog. Not sure I love this call with his chip stack. You're such a savage, bro. But it goes check, check on the turn after an ace comes off. And the fours remain the best hand. The six on the river. Let's see if KT decides to take a stab at this. 1.3 million in the middle. He's got about 1.6 in his stack, and he is reaching for betting chips. That's 450, a little less than half pot. See if Waco Scrub can find a call here. Would basically cripple KT. Nope, he folds, and KT is going to pick up a nice pot. Going from 2.4 to almost, or to over 3 million. That's got to feel good coming into this final table as one of the shorter stacks and now getting close to average. Relatively quiet table here to start. Obviously plays a little different than uh, our cash streams. A lot of tournament grinders really just focusing on the ICM pressure. Don't really have to do that if you wake up with aces. Two black aces buried for KC here. He will not limp this time. Makes it 225 to go. I think he actually has to raise it to... Oh, okay, that's 325. That makes more sense. I was going to say, you have to go 240. I was, good. I was thinking that might be a bit of an overbet, but now the short stack, Ben, wakes up with kings in the small blind. I think all the chips might find the middle. Fearless Phantom giving it maybe a little too much thought with the suited Robbie. Gets out of the way and it'll be a quick call from KC and we will have our first player at risk. Ben who has already locked up 25,000 in this tournament as Kyle said, now in danger of being eliminated in ninth place. KC does have him covered, and obviously the best hand currently with the aces. Yeah, definitely not what you want to see short stacked looking down at kings just give the aces a wheel draw while you're at it yeah and we can see there's only one live king in the deck and that's what he's got to catch here or running straight cards well there's a straight card a three will do it opportunities <laughs> three or a king or ben will be eliminated in ninth
No chop outs. No king of diamonds on the river. Nine of hearts will eliminate Ben here in ninth place. He'll be taking home 4,200 for his ninth place finish, but as we said, he already pulled a 25K bounty as well. What a great tournament for him. So you see it there on screen. I also put those payouts into the chat. With each elimination, we will remind you what everybody's collecting here from the prize pool. Over, or sorry, exactly 146 places and got paid of that 1,276 player field. But he pulled 25k. Yeah, no, we can't feel bad for him. He ain't even feel bad for him, though. He's like, fuck it, I got sick. Yeah, no, he's good for it. That's why I love him. He's already lost almost 30k. Is it my turn? Oh, okay, sorry. I do too. Chip leader Derek raising it up to 250 with 97 suited, putting a little pressure on the blinds after it folds to him. And Gooch waking up with Ace Trey in the big blind may choose to defend. He does. Go heads up to the flop. And a gut shot for Derek. Gooch's ace high still in the lead. He's going to check. And Derek knows Gooch is down to about 20 big blinds. That flop doesn't really scare him much. He bets out and takes it down right there. Keeping the pressure on. So we did get a question in chat asking about our very own Cord Garcia. If you're wondering, I did put another link in chat, open it up in a new tab. Don't go completely away from our stream and my amazing voice, but Poker News is covering this event. Also covered the RPLO championship that already wrapped up previously, and they will be out here covering the main event as well. So for all updates on champions, our larger buying events, you can go over to Poker News. Really See <laughs> how your favorite players crazy, did, what place they took, what they, they took ball. down. Um, you're, wait, you're not? Pretty cool oh. coverage there by Poker I'm News. Yeah, he, he's hat, bro, I swear. He, he's from Texas, but... Folds around to the cutoff. The KT cool, finds like King cool. Queen and makes a 260 to go. And he'll take down a set of blinds. And Andy? So, just reading out some notable players. Carson Wieland took 17th in this tournament. He was the player that took second in the Pilo Championship. So, he's doing very well this series here at Champions. Will Leffingwell eliminated in 16th place. Everybody knows that bracelet winner from our Tuesday Pilo streams with the Stallions. <laughs> David That's Shaw wild. took 15th place. 
Rochelle he Park in 14th. Plenty of really well known Houston and Texas players doing really well making deep runs within this tournament. Phantom now, 10 9 suited in the cutoff. Just you and me? I can't do anything. King Queen offsuit raising to two fifty from under the gun. Gooch now two red sixes. ICM fold. You can keep the ante. Keep 120. No, keep keep 120, yeah. There you have it. Derek taking down the blinds and ante. Leaving the ante. He is now the big blind. You might hear some background noise throughout this final table. Just off screen, we have a couple tables of the first flight of our main event. $1,500 buy-in, $1 million guarantee. That's million with a capital M. Can you call the floor over here? Thank you. Are you cold, Lydia? Are you cold? Okay. As long as... Hey, Diller's cold and we're freezing. We can't fill our hands. Thank you, brother. When we set up the final table, it was really hot in there. Turned on the AC for about 12 minutes. Now it's freezing cold. AC works really good here at Champions. Sometimes too good. Go hot and cold real quick like a Katy Perry song. Folds around to the blinds. Mo finds a king eight in the small blind, raising it up to 300,000. Derek with a pretty weak holding in the big blind. He does have a lot of chips. Could play back, but seems like not a great idea. He'll get out of the way. Snow crab folded. Someone's saying, send Derek a beer. I think he's had quite a few. And doing really well because of it in his natural habitat. Are you saying it always backfires, you know? Good bless you. You know I love you, baby. I've been playing with you for a long time. He's button, right? Hold on. This is me. This is me. That's right. We didn't look yet. No, we didn't look. We didn't look. Nobody looked. She dropped it. Okay. Okay. Wow, they listened to you. Huh? What was it? Well, Diller called. They, anytime you say that, that's the trick. That's why I asked you. If the Diller's called, they're going to do it. <laughs> For real, because the Diller got to be comfortable. What's up? Huh? No, I didn't. What's up, though? You all right? Sunny in the chat app asking, what's the champion's card in front of the chips? She may be talking about those plaques. Those are 500,000 
denomination plaques that you see in front of the three and four seats there. Fearless Phantom waking up with Ace King off suit onto the gun plus one reaching for raising chips. Big raise, 380,000. Folds around to KC in the cutoff and he finds black aces again, second time. Hand number 13. And KC's already had two aces two times. Against a premium hand again. No, we're definitely not taking another break. I can hear the floor in the background. We will be taking a quick break after this hand to color off the 5K chips. End of the 6120 level. It's going to go up to 75150. I couldn't take a break, you know? You got to take them when you can take them, you know? Folds are back around to Fearless Phantom after KC makes it 950 to go. That boy Gucci man. Phantom with 1.8 million in his stack. Moves his chips all in. KC twice in a row. Gets a player to four bet all in with a weaker hand and has a chance to eliminate another player. Easy poker. Fearless Phantom now in danger of going out in eighth place. 5,100 for eighth place, but he's hoping to double up here, have a shot at that 38K. Here's one queen and two hearts. So we need running straight cards or running hearts for Phantom to stay alive here. A 10 ball for the gut shot to Broadway. Three tens live in the deck one time here on the river. But not this time. Fearless Phantom will be taking home $5,100 today. And KC collects his second bounty of the final table. Yeah, KC has somewhere to go. Just putting those aces to work. Two knockouts here. Yeah, came into the final table with about an average stack of four million, now up to close to seven million. Possibly chip leader now. And everybody locked up an additional 6,200 now as Phantom collects 5,100 for eighth place. And there you see assistant tournament director David Phelps coloring off the 5K chips. Take a short break. Take a look at the promos that we have going on here at Champions Club. If you like to play cash, this is the place to do it. We're doing $1,000 drawings every day at 10 p.m. You can earn tickets for that drawing by playing in the cash room. Every time you get a hand that is a flush or better, you earn tickets from 4 p.m. to 8 in the morning. And then we draw every day at 10 p.m. Those tickets will stay in the bucket until the end of February. Also doing our normal high hands in the morning from 9, a, is it 9 or 10 to 9? 9, 9 a.m. to noon. 9 a.m. to noon, $200 every hour for those high hands. No qualifier, just have to have the best hand of the hour. Play eight hours of cash in a day and you get a $25 food comp. You can use that anytime and you can stack those up, earn a couple of them and save up and get yourself a steak dinner here at Champions Club. If you're a regular watcher of our stream, you know we can't go a stream without talking about how good the food here is. So everybody loves that promo. And that's the $200 high hands we were just talking about there. We got so many tournaments left of this series, but the big one is in progress, as Kyle was talking about. 
The main event has started. Flight A was today. $1,500 buy-in, 1 million guarantee. We have another flight tomorrow at noon and going throughout the rest of this week. Come on down to Champions Club. We also have mega satellites for that, and uh, we're doing Omaha sweats for that on demand. Plenty of ways to get a seat into the main event. Check Poker Atlas for the schedule of all the super and mega satellites for that event. And as I said, we're doing Omaha sweats just on demand. Anytime we have two, 10 players that want to do it, we will do a single hand of Omaha, win yourself a seat into the main event. That's going to be such an awesome tournament. I see uh, Greg Raymer in the room. He's in town to play the main event. Was playing the uh, Big Bet Mix game today at 5. And it looks like they forgot to turn our table audio up after the break. We will be getting that back in a moment here. We apologize for that. Blinds now at 75 and 150. We're down to seven players now. So all of these players guaranteed 6,200 in addition to any bounties that they've earned or will earn. And average stack currently about 35 big blinds with the seven players remaining. And here we are, heads up, KT versus Derek. Derek raises one up on the button with King three, KT defending the big blind. And trip kings for Derek. KT, a non-believer, makes a call, drawing dead now. Over a million in the pot. KT with just 2.6 remaining in his stack. Derek may want to check this one and let KT get something. But he fires out a bet, 425. KT will get out of the way. And the rich get richer. Derek, who started as our big stack now, over 8.5 million in his stack. Total chips in play, 37.3 million. Yeah, Eight. go ahead. We're really surprised by the speed of play today. Obviously, it is a bounty tournament, so people will be calling a little bit lighter than usual, be a little more aggressive than usual, trying to get to those bigger pulls from the bounties, but uh, definitely ahead of schedule given the large field. Brought back over 140 people today, and we played down to the final nine pretty quick, the final seven remaining. Mo with an ace wheel and the hijack, raising things up to 325. JP looking at an offsuit, ace jack on the button. Additional positional equity here. JP also out stacking Mo by about 3 million chips. Looks like he's going to put a plaque to use here. And this might be the first time a plaque has gone into the middle. Makes it 775000 to go. Action back on Mo. Quick folds from the blinds here. They don't mind seeing chips go into the middle. They wouldn't mind laddering up further. Ace-5 usually wants to be the aggressor, not the one putting in the call. So this time it will hit the muck correctly so. Yeah, there definitely will be a lot of 
different plays you might see here at this final table that you won't see in cash games. Cash games and tournament poker play very differently. Especially at this stage of the game where there's so much ICM difference between 7th place and 1st place. Yeah. So yeah, we had somebody mention in chat saying, oh, those that ace-king got overplayed. Well, when you've got 15 bigs and you look down at ace-king, you're short-stacked and you're, you're likely not going to be able to look down at much better than that as these blinds are quick to go around. So you got to get it in good and win your flips. Also, we'll see quite a few hands like this where it just becomes a raise and take pre-flop. Not going to see a bunch of multi-way pots. Typically, we're going to be heads up to a flop. Just plenty of differences between cash poker and tournament poker. These guys all know that difference. That's why they are here. Two different jack eights hit the muck there. Gets around to Gooch on the button with some Gretzky's the hole. Yeah, on the button, 10 big blinds left. Waking up with a pair, likely to just shove it in. And he does. And Waco Scrub immediately asking for a count, so he must have something to think about here. And that count is 1,375,000, it looks like. 1,475. One, Scrub making the call with Ace-8, and we see some plaques going into the middle again. Heads up we go to the flop. Gooch in trouble here. He does have the best hand currently, but it's a flip, and he is outstacked. In danger of being eliminated in seventh place. Here we go to the flop. Seven's still in the lead. Good flop for him. Fades the clubs on the flop. They won't come or be of use if they do. Oh. But that ace on the turn. Spells disaster for Gooch now. Yeah, Gooch in need of one of the two remaining sevens, or he will be eliminated. And he does not get it. Deuce, Diamond, River. That won't be the last we see of Gooch. He is a crusher on both the cash and tournament scene. We've seen him on this table before, and we'll see him again. Today he's taken home 6,200 plus any of the bounties he received earlier on. Can I pull this or do I have to wait? Oh, this, uh, hold it. will you hold this for me? Thank you. You said you can pull whenever you want. But it's also nice. And he does have a bounty to pull, it sounds like. So you can pull whenever you want. I mean, nobody's ahead of you, so. Well, I mean, he he is technically. Oh, I mean, yeah, he's got He's got the two that he picked up, too. So. Yeah. Y'all can pull it in when y'all want. Y'all just got to call them over here. Can we get our table audio back? And they're talking about that right now. As players are allowed to hold their pulls if they wish. But if they want to pull, they pull in the order that they earn them. I think they're rushing. Folds around to the blinds. Casey limping oh. in with 8-5. Yeah. And Mo will raise it. Can I take my 75 back? To 550 with King High. And this is the second time we've Good seen Casey limp in and then fold to a raise. Can we also scoot down when we get the chance to spread out? 
Yeah, because we're tired. They, they can move us over in the box, right? Yeah. We got two hours to break, though. Can you can you call floor? When is, when, is, when is yet, though? We need to break after this level. Yeah, because we have all that extra room and we're all stuck down here. Yeah. Yeah. Over in the system. Yeah. Y'all can just tell me I smell bad. It's okay. I mean, <laughs> it's got to look awkward on stream. <laughs> You can see her talk about seat numbers every time. Hey, that, that may be difficult. Can we go yeah, break after this level so we can move over? Can break ain't for two hours. Huh? They ran out of little big air. Find out. Okay, they're on. Yeah, no, but it ain't two, it's two hours till break. No, they're on. Huh? She, said, she said they're on. They're, oh, okay, they're 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 okay, can hear it? It's gonna yeah, they can hear it. <laughs> I'm not Action folds them. around to KC on around, the dealer button. Saying. Suited Ace. Likely to raise it up here. Go up. I stand corrected. He's gonna make a call. Turns out to be a good move as Mo in the small blind has a better ace. With only six players remaining, average stack now, 40 big blinds. So still plenty of poker to be played here. And wow, look at this, ace nine versus ace 10 versus ace queen. Derek, our big stack with a nice big hand here, seeing a limp and a raise in front of him. He's going to raise it up to 1.35. KC on the dealer button folds his ace nine wisely. who has about four million left in his stack. He's got a half a million in the middle already. Has to decide if he wants to put about a third of his chips in with ace 10. Yeah, really good sizing by Derek here. He knew that if Mo called that off, that the SPR would essentially be won there. Mo's committed. You want to call there? Okay. Yeah. Uh, cool, whatever. And we know a lot of those aces were burned. Oh, cool, whatever. So Derek's high card would play unless somebody hit their dangler along the way. Yeah, I'll tell you. You can move to the... Four or five. Yeah, we need to move. Right. Four. Move to the four. Okay. Mm. Shifting around a little bit since uh, six, seven, and eight all went out. You got three empty seats in a row. Game on. You're a bump feature.
Please. Yeah. Yeah. Casey raising like this one no up. Movies. Makes it 350 yeah, with like the, uh, the draggers. I'll keep it down. We've seen him limp in and fold a couple of times. Every time he's raised, he's turned over aces. JP now with a decision in the big blind. <coughs> <coughs> And he will make the fold. So KC picking up a set of blinds and annies. So bad. Gotta push that one down. I'm gonna push it down. Yeah, it pops. You can push it. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it don't. Button versus Big Blind. Derek raises this one up with a suit of 10. KT defends. And now a check raise from KT on a Jack Jack 8 flop. Derek betting 200,000, getting raised to 600. All right, buddy. KT not letting the big stack push him around. Check raising with five high. Got to respect it. Continuing to apply pressure in the cutoff this time. Suited Jack six, raising to 325. Doing what the big stack is supposed to do. Continuing to apply that pressure on the blinds. Waco will defend the big blind with queen seven suited. Both players miss. Waco checks. Queen high is still good for him. But Derek... The aggressor reaching for betting chips. Bets 350 and takes it down.
Mo with King Queen offsuit under the gun makes it 325 to go. Folds around to the big blind. KC with 10 6 will defend. Check. And check in the dark. 7 high flop. Mo will see bet. 375 here. Would have been a good opportunity, I think, for KC to check raise there. That Ford hitting his range a lot harder than Moe's under the gun opening range. But he chooses to give it up. Hold on. I'm coming. Folds around to the cutoff. KT looking down at two red tens. Makes it 350 to go. Thank you. First place, honey. And Mo King Queen off again. Two hands in a row. Makes the call from the big blind. We'll go heads up to the flop. Wow, top two for Mo. Out flopping tens just a little bit. Checks it over, and KT puts a feeler out there, two and a quarter into 9.25. I like a just call here, especially from the big blind. You could be defending with a number of hands. Kind of disguise, disguise the strength of your hand and let KT keep firing. But it looks like Mo's reaching for razors. Makes it 625. And KT does make the fold. But last stream they said we can just agree to take a break. Hey, we getting a break after this level? We can agree to take it whenever we want. So if we want to do it like uh We ain't gonna take but like like after the next level, I'd be fine with after the next level. I just need like five minutes. I gotta go. I gotta use the bathroom. But, uh, Wouldn't that be strange to have a break no. after that long? No, we can take a break when we, we want. We can do whatever we want. Yeah, yeah. They oh, let really? us do it last Let's time. just do like until we all get back, like six, seven, eight minutes. Yeah. After so, this level. Whatever we want to do. Whenever y'all so get, we whenever back, whenever everybody's back, we start. No. Let's do. Uh, oh, they let us do it last live stream. Let's just do ten minutes. I got to close out my tab and all that. Yeah. Huh? Ten minutes. Ten minutes okay. Waco scrub raising it up yeah, from the cutoff. Makes it 325 with King 4 suited. Action now on the blinds after KC folds. Mo looking down at a suited ace in the small blind. Defends Waco Scrub flopping a pair of fours takes the lead. I know. I can't wait to How much you start with? I can't wait to play 60k. Oh, yeah, that's funny. 400 has to be back. Oh, sure. Looking forward to playing that. That's the last one. So yeah, that one's going to be good. Played 1300 too? 1300. Man. And the last year was really good too. Oh, yeah, last year. Yeah. This was like November or October. November or October. Whenever it was. Picks up a diamond draw to go along with it. 
But Mo catching a gut shot. Mo also blocking the nuts, reaching for betting chips. Looks like 900,000. Really putting the pressure on bottom pair here. My mistake, 1.1 million, not 900,000. Nick, you got something ready? <clears throat> About three quarters of the pot. Slack it. 10 minutes. Three and a half. We're going to break in three and a half, though. Oh, tell them. Thank you. Yeah. Bet. Appreciate it, boy. Big pot alert. Waco makes the call. Almost four million in the what pot. You, at? you don't need a break? And the diamonds hey, get no. there. <laughs> Mo left with just I ace high you, here. And face. less than pot Can't size the, uh, the in his stack. The good hair. Bluff the turn. Like What's that. he going to do on this running runner diamond? You play in Vegas or just here, Texas? Austin, Dallas? I've seen you somewhere. Yeah. Second nuts for Waco Scrub. Definitely probably Austin. Yeah. And Mo gives up on the bluffing. Waco Scrub firing out a bet. Mo will not call, obviously, here with ace high. Nice pot, though, for Waco Scrub. May have the chip <laughs> lead now with over 9 million chips. That is over a quarter of the chips in play. <clears throat> Six players remaining. Each player at this table guaranteed 7,800. First place again, 38,128. I believe there's still a 5K bounty in the bucket. KC with two of those bounty chips to collect on. Two knockouts already, this final table. Two black sevens now for Mo. Shows the goods, takes the pot. under the gun for a new chip leader here. Raises to 325. Mo. Big slick in the cutoff. Wants some of his chips back from Waco Scrub. What do you do if you're Mo? Puts Push, it all in. Yeah, pushes it all in. Possibly a bit of an overbet with that many chips. Yeah, will not get defended. He's going to pick up some chips there, though, plus 700,000. And that is the end of that blind level, and it sounds like players are going to take a quick break here. Be coming back from break with blinds of should be 100, 200. Dan Fouts here with Champions Poker Live. I'm sitting here with our tournament director, Brian Freitas. How's it going today, Brian? Going good, Dan. Thanks. 
Well, thanks for sitting down with me. I've known you for a long time, but some of the people out there may not know exactly who you are. Tell us a little bit about your poker history and how it is you became the tournament director of Champions Club. Right on. Yeah, um, I kind of got into poker uh, during the poker boom, just kind of like everybody else. I was living in Lake Tahoe, California, and started playing, you know, after seeing that, that World Series and Chris Moneymaker and what he did. And uh, was kind of doing it just for fun up there in Lake Tahoe. And, uh, you know, things as they happened, was, was looking for work. Uh, right around 2010, and um, I'd been dealing some home games in Tahoe, and some of the circuit dealers had been coming through, so I'd met some of the circuit dealers. I actually was a roommate with someone that was on the tour, and they said, hey, you're already doing great. You're a better dealer than some of the dealers that we already have. You should come try out for the World Series of Poker, and I thought that would be cool. So uh, I went down and auditioned. I became a dealer for the World Series of Poker. Uh, I started uh, traveling on the circuit um, with a great circuit crew, Jimmy Summerfeld's crew, and uh, was moved up to dual rate uh, fairly quickly and then uh, started flooring. Um, was for at the World Series proper as well in Vegas and did that for uh, over 13 years. And um, during the pandemic, you know, things were a little slow around the country and uh, got an offer to come down and do the uh, million dollar guarantee that Champions Club had in their old location and uh, worked that event and it went really well. And after that, they, uh, you know, maybe an offer to come down here and uh, we worked something out and it, it was just such a great company, I couldn't pass it up, and here I am. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, we're, we're lucky to have you here. Um, and so right now we've got this great series of poker tournaments going on. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we've got the Winter Poker Open uh, going on right now. We've got all kinds of buy-ins uh, from 140 all the way up to 2200 There's a million-dollar guaranteed main event with a $1,500 buy-in. Uh, we have a mystery bounty, a really cool mystery bounty, uh, $400 buy-in there, 300000 guarantee where we've added... Uh, season tickets to the Houston Texans along with the seat license, uh, over 10000 value. We just put that in there uh, for fun. We're going to have uh, someone draw that. Uh, we have a PLO championship, $1,100 buy-in PLO. We have a little mini mixed game series that the winner of each of those six events is going to go on to play for a, a free roll, a dealer's choice mixed game free roll. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, single table satellites, uh, multi table satellites, super, ta super satellites, so anything you could possibly want we're going to have during this series. So. That's awesome. I'm hoping to be one of the people playing in that uh, mixed game free roll. I'm going to play the horse event. I think it's the only one I'm going to be able to play because we're going to be streaming so many events during that series. Yeah, like eight final tables I think we're streaming and uh, the ladies event, the seniors event, so all that good stuff should be great. That's awesome and we're really looking forward to that on the production side. Uh, one of the things I love about working with Champions Club is that we have so many partners outside of Champions. I know we've got some big things coming up on the horizon. Can you tell us anything about those things? I can hint at a little bit. Uh, so the next event is going to be uh, in the May area, probably May, and uh, it's with PokerGo. PokerGo is coming through. We have the only other PokerGo studio in the country other than in Vegas right here in Texas. So we will have PokerGo coming through, and we're going to have the, some of the biggest buy-ins that Texas has ever seen. And, uh, you know, dare I say... Most likely the biggest guarantee that Texas has ever seen. So stay tuned on that. I can't give you too much yet, but uh, that's going to be amazing and a lot of fun. And we really love working with those guys. Uh, they've come down through to do our cash games uh, a few times now already. And we've got to work with, uh, with Poker Go, and that's always exciting to have them come back. So. That is awesome. Looking forward to more cash games with Poker Go and now a tournament series. Wow, that's going to be great fun. So I appreciate you sitting down with us today, Brian. Um, you're one of my best buddies on the road for a long time. A lot of people may not know this, but Brian and I actually started at the same job on the road. So we've been working together for a long, long time. Good friends for a long time. Appreciate you sitting down with us. Come visit us here at Champions Club in Houston, Texas. We are the only poker room in Texas that has a hotel. So come stay and play. 6440 West Sam Houston Parkway South, Houston, Texas. Dan Fouts here with Champions Poker Live. I'm sitting down with 2023 World Series of Poker bracelet winner and Poker Stallion. What's up, Dan? Fireman Scott Delaney. How are you doing today? Good to see you, brother. I'm doing, doing well and glad to have you here with me. What has changed since you became a bracelet winner? <laughs> My ego. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. My ego has always been big. Uh, but it was, it was fun to come back. You know, I love Houston poker so much and... To go out and win a tournament, you know, with everybody watching. We had big time sponsors the first couple of years, and we had a lot of people watching it and supporting us. So, very exciting to win 
kind of the pinnacle of a, a tournament poker player. Uh, to win that bracelet and bring it home, it's meant a lot. It's been super exciting. And uh, yeah, now it just gives me something more to brag about with all my friends. Yeah, so you're definitely known as a Houston poker guy. Tell me a little bit about, like, what does Houston poker mean to you, and what has changed, and what do you see coming? Well, uh, Houston poker is my family. You know, there's my family family, and there's my Houston poker family, and it's, they're very close. And so I always want to do my part for poker, you know, and as this character of Fireman Scott, I've, I've gotten to where I feel like I mean something to people, you know, and, and I try to help push poker forward the best we can. And as much as it's growing in the last year with champions and everything coming into Texas and Houston, uh, it feels good to be a big part of that and, and kind of help push us in the, in the right direction, be a, be a part of it all, you know. That's awesome. So we have the Winter Poker Open coming up. Obviously, everybody's excited about the 1 million guarantee, 1,500 main event. What other events for the Winter Poker Open are you excited about and what are you planning on playing? Uh, well, this year I'm going to take a little bit different. I'm not looking at at tournaments like I'm a professional anymore. I've won my bracelet and now I'm going back to being a cash game player and a, and a tournament player for fun and recreation. So as I'm looking throughout the year, I'm mostly looking at main events in PLO tournaments. And so for this Champions uh, Series, which will be my first tournaments of the year, the PLO, to have a 150K PLO right here in Houston is pretty special. Uh, I'm very excited about that. And then the main event, you know, uh, somebody's going to get paid a lot of money. And uh, I hope it's me or Will for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's so great to have, a, you know, the, the Poker Stallions, you guys here in town. You've got a bunch of people, but you guys are doing a stream every week here at Champions on Tuesdays, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Central. Uh, tell, tell me a little bit about that, about Poker Stallions in general, and then how has things changed since you started this weekly stream? Well, um, we started the Stallions group about two years ago, and it's just a group of poker players that support each other through thick and thin, financially, in every way possible. We, uh, we room together, we do sponsorship together, and, and so we're a big team. And my, my partner, Will Leffingwell, Rockets Will, on the show, he's the captain of the Stallions. He's the one who put it all together. And this show is something, it's kind of a combination of something that Will and I have both had in our minds forever. We wanted to speak to Houston and, and be a part of Houston and let them know what's going on on a weekly basis. And this show has become the perfect spot for us to do this. You know, we have state-of-the-art facilities, state-of-the-art equipment, a great crew to work with, and it's, it's more than we've, we could really dream of. And so we're working on this stream every week to try and get it better and better, trying new things, like I'm going to be in the booth tonight, bringing new people in, different stakes. We absolutely love it, and we hope that the people at home do too. Yeah, we love having you guys here. For people who don't normally watch the Stallion stream, tell them a little bit. It's a different kind of poker stream. So tell them a little bit about what that means to you and what's your vision for that. Well, we always thought, we used to kind of joke, and we used to say, man, all we really need was to turn a camera on and, and see what happens at the table. And so this gives us a little bit of time to do that. You know, we're all guys that have played together forever, and so we can joke each other, with each other a little more than is uh, usually allowed in a, in a game. You know, it's, it's a little hard for somebody else to pick on your brother, but you can pick on your brother. So since we know each other really well, it gives us an opportunity to put on a show that strangers, quite frankly, can't do. You know, it's people watching guys that know each other very well. And on a professional poker level, it adds another level that isn't seen a lot. You know, we've played with each other so well that we're varying off the traditional line, as you've seen quite a bit. You know, we are playing the player, and it's, it's uh, just a whole different type of show that we're trying to do, and, and we're really enjoying it. And like I said, we hope that everybody else is too. Yeah, I really like it. If you haven't watched it, check it out every Tuesday here at Champions Poker Live, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Central. What I love about it is it's kind of like almost a podcast within a poker show. Scott and Will bring topics. They're talking about different stuff and a lot more table talk than what you're used to on a normal poker stream. It's a lot of fun. Uh, thanks a lot for sitting down with me today, Scott. Really appreciate it. Come to Champions Club in Texas, 6440 West Sam Houston Parkway South in Houston, Texas. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, be sure to check out that stream tomorrow.
PLO with the Stallions, and it looks like we're doing some bounty pulls now. I thought you wanted to throw it down, down first. You were saying all along, Hello? throw it. <laughs> One thousand. No, 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 no. One thousand. Oh, the other guy? <laughs> okay. I thought that was you. No. I don't throw my Okay. Up. Let's try. Oh, God. And here he comes with two more bounties. Oh, His eliminations for the final for table. For Doesn't even want to look at the ones he's pulling. Yeah. Is mine on? Mine's on. Huh? Okay, let's find out what's going on now. You can't hear me? A lot of zeros on that one. 5,000! 5,000, yes. nice. 5,000. Very nice. Five thousand. The rich get richer. <laughs> he pull all kinds of Okay, one more. Oh, God. One more to go for KC. There's still some 10,000 here. KC just got eighth place money in one poll. Let's go to the other one. <laughs> <laughs> it was down to 160k when the blinds were 50. Oh, God. That's heavy. Finders keepers. That's heavy. <laughs> 500. 500. All right. Clock, and another 500. 5,500 for him. Yeah. Wow. And coming back now. Yes. 100, 200, 200. Six players left. 7,800 for sixth place. 38,128 for first. And while we were talking about the Stallion stream tomorrow, just wanted to mention what else is going on this week for streams. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bells if you want to catch our future streams. So we got 6 p.m. tomorrow, Central Time, PLO with the Stallions. Sorry, 7 p.m. stream time. 6 p.m. on Wednesday will be the Mixed Tournament of Champions free roll. Uh, the, so everybody who won one of the Mixed Game tournaments here at Champions got a free seat in this. It's a six-man tournament, winner take all, $5,000 just put up by Champions Club. That should be a really fun one. And then on Thursday, we're streaming the final table of the ladies' event. We estimate the start time to be around 11 p.m. on that one. And Friday, the high roller event, final table, estimate start time, 6 p.m. for that one. So lots of tournament streams this week and PLO with the Stallions tomorrow. And here we are back at it, 1-2-2. But you know, there's so many people who are going to double by you. <laughs> Sure you can. It's 200. It was easy enough the last time. <laughs> JP, ace queen in the cutoff. Reaching for raising chips makes it 450. KT Third. folds oh. a suited king, folds around to KC now in the big it. blind. You get a chance, I'm ready. Also Thank has you. a suited king. All right. Never mind. A little cheaper for him to defend. Yeah, can I order? And he will call. Heads up will go to the flop. Salmon. I want it well done. <coughs> What's it come with? Jesus. Ace high flop with two diamonds. Good for JP. I'll get asparagus Thank you. with ketchup and uh, sriracha if you got it. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Ketchup. Yeah. And um, I'll take another beer, a Miller and a cold glass. 
The bet of 500 gets it done for JP. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're good. No worries. Yeah, you're good. No worries. Here you go. Thanks. Yeah. I drink this one already. I drink out of this one, but the rest of them are good. Okay. All right. King Jack offsuit under the gun for Derek. Reaching for some chips. 425 is the sizing. And JP. Jack nine of clubs. And you might be thinking, what's he doing with that hand? But when it's six handed, you got to open your range up a little bit. Makes a call here. Yeah, and two of the bigger stacks involved and get her, gets around to the big blind. Nines for Mo. Yeah, and Mo down to about 20 bigs, pocket nines. Lots of dead money in the middle. Thanks, let's get it in here. Derek folding the King Jack. Great news for Mo. If anybody's gonna call him, he wants it to be JP with a nine in his hand. Couldn't really see JP putting that call in. No. There's still just too much in Mo's stack there. Yeah, you can you can call a raise from the, the big stack that's been raising almost every hand, but tough to call a three bet from f for half your stack. It makes a big difference. Jack King off again under the gun. Raising it up again, 450. No nines, no jack nine, no defendable hands. And that will just be a raise and take it for JP. Collecting some of what he had just lost and good to collect the blinds as you pay the big blind and big blind ante. Fun to see that bucket in the background now with six balls in it. The start of the day there was 142 in there. KT under the gun with King 10. About 10 big lines left, jams it all in. Folds around to the dealer button. He will also fold. And it looks like action on the big blind of JP. Yeah. He looks down at ace-queen and makes a quick call. Ace-queen versus king-10. KT going to need some help here, or he will be eliminated in sixth place, giving JP another bounty. JP, the lucky recipient of the $10,000 value Houston Texans tickets already. Queen. Gut shot for KT, ace queen still in the lead. Yeah, JP not wanting to hit his queen here. How about a double gutter now for KT? 13 outs, 70-30 favorite is JP. KT needs some help. And will not get it. JP collects another bounty and KT will be taking home $7,800.
there you have it a look at the payouts and eliminations here KT 7800 not including any of the bounties that he pulled along the way to get to this final table five remaining players after over 1200 entries in this tournament 9900 locked up for all remaining players here and hand number 33 now of this final table yeah continuing to move relatively quickly but about on schedule for the way most of our final tables go here. Average stack typically right around 40 big blinds and usually remains that way for the whole tournament. Down to five players, average stack now 37 bigs. So right on, right on pace. I just got it back to back. It's got to be a sign. I would have held on the other one too. I mean, I Dan always breaks out the Nostra dongle to predict where we'll finish, what level we're gonna have X amount of players at. It's not infallible, but it's pretty close. Folds around to the blinds, Waco scrub with four five suited, limps in, KC looks down at a suited king and we'll check his option. KC, who was our largest stack for a moment after eliminating two players early on, is now less than an average stack. I mean, if they let me. Floor, he's ready to pull his bounty. Can I pull mine? Thank you. Huh? He said we can do one average as long as he ain't in the hand. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Bye -bye. Yeah, get that out the way. We got to go ahead and get that 10K out of that barrel. No, he pulled it. There's only a 10K left. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. He pull like 20K. No. Not yet. And I believe we're going to be pulling a bounty here for the next hand. <laughs> JP you didn't look, making you didn't sure like he grabs the right the one. I did, I did second guess it. I did second guess it. That's good for us. He second guessed When he pulled the tickets, he definitively picked the ball. He was... Five hundred. He second guessed it. I knew that's that was good for him. Price going up for us. Stir those up. They know which one he wanted. Five left and a ten case still in there. Oh yeah. I'm calling y'all dark. <laughs> now they think there's a ten case still left in there. I don't know if I've received verification of that. <laughs> I hope there's still a ten k in there. That makes it exciting for sure. Yeah, maybe that's what they're telling themselves, just to stay interested, just to play better poker. JP raising it up with 7 6 offsuit. I need one of y'all to be watching so y'all can tell me what they got. Keeping pressure on the blinds. And KC surprisingly defending the small blind with Queen 9. We've seen him make, make some big folds here. But chooses to defend with Queen High this time. And Moe's going to get in there also. Three ways to the flop. Already 1.5 million in the pot. KC with the best hand and checking dark. Swing and a miss for everybody with two aces on board. Action on JP 
after two checks. He was the initial aggressor, and he will remain the aggressor, betting 550,000, about a third pot. Get rid of the queen high and get rid of Mo as well. Aggression paying off JP now with 10 million chips out of the 37 million total in play. Small suited connector here, but good enough to open things up for Waco Scrub. Yeah, again, he's got lots of chips. Taking some initiative. Gets a call from Mo with a bigger suited connector in the small blind. Big blind will fold. Heads up to the flop we go. And Mo connects, middle pair. It was check, check. Waco Scrub looking for a diamond. Instead, Mo gets two pairs. And Mo firing out half a million, takes it down. Waco Scrub this time with a Jack-10 just limping in. And Derek finds Ace-King offsuit in the small blind. Giving Waco Scrub's chips a look. And Derek raising it up. Grabbing one of those plaques, making it 775 total. JP with Queen 10 suited in the big blind. And 10 million in chips. Makes the call. Waco Scrub now in position and able to limp in there. 2.5 million in the middle now. And flop is good for nobody. Derek does have backdoor diamonds and the best hand. Checked around on the flop. Three of hearts comes out. Still no change. Ace King in the lead. And now Derek will fire out a bet. It looked like over a million. Yeah. Goes big into this 2.5 million pot.
JP appears to be reaching for raising chips. And he does. Makes it almost three million, or over three million. Wow. Derek and JP have played with each other quite a bit here in Houston. Waco Scrub decides to get out of the way. Now Derek will have to put a third of his remaining chips in to call with Ace-King high. JP, who defended from the big blind, the most likely player to have any piece of this six high board. He definitely ain't going for the next one. <laughs> A bad read, sir. Don't act like you were. Please don't. <laughs> and the we rich get richer. JP, Let's who had over 10 million starting build. that hand, has over 13 million now. You are not built like that. Over a third of the chips in play, five players remaining. Be hard for me not to show that bluff at that point, but you don't want to give away any information when you got five players left at the table. Yeah, you might get some calls where you don't want them in the future <laughs> exactly if you show right. that one. Turn your hand face up pretty. Derek sticking to his read that he made the correct fold. Another real hand here for Waco Scrub. Unfortunately, Mo with a slightly better one. Ace Queen versus King Jack suited. The ace high still good on a board with two tens. Don't see it. What was it? Huh? Yeah, you just in a suicide mode. I love it. That's why I win every day. I love it. I know. I love y'all. Y'all right. The sick part is that it wasn't for the tournament. Yeah. Huh? It was so you were stuck in the line. I respect you already. You ain't got to go out your way. That's why I do what I do. Nobody gets action like me, baby. Nobody. Did you think I forward a big hand to you? I had a big one, no pair though. Yeah, yeah, I know you have a ace king. That's never like anything else. You know I have ace king. Good lord. How am I going to learn? No ace king this hand. King six suited in the cutoff. Oh my god. How am I supposed to win, bro? And this time, Waco Scrub with a pair in the small blind. Makes the call. KC finds a big king. Suited team. king 10. <laughs> blinds are so big now. KC with about 20 big blinds in his stack. He makes the call. Three ways we go to the flop. 7-4 gets there. Yep. Derek's king six makes an open ender, and Waco still in the lead with the eights and a gut shot to an eight high straight. Checks to Derek. The initial aggressor has flopped an open ender and backdoor hearts. How much money is he going to put in here? 1.475 in the middle. Makes it 675. Yeah, red eight would be an action card here. Make 1. it seven million. One point seven million from the small blind. Waco Scrub liking his overpair, as you mentioned. It is connected with the board in the form of a gutter. Derek makes a six. 
Waco scrub makes that eight high straight. And I think Derek in a little bit of shock that these guys are playing back at him two hands in a row. With short stacks on the table. And he was all in with the draw. Waco Scrub makes the call instantly, leaving himself only a million chips if he loses this one. And Derek will be at risk. Waco Scrub is 65% favorite here. Somebody's going broke or somebody's getting crippled. Wow, a six immediately. Yeah, I think you got me covered. Yikes, and Derek now needing an eight to chop. There's two eights left in the deck. I got 6.8 million. Does not get it on the end, and so with that, we will see Derek eliminated. Wow, Derek came into this final table as the big chip leader. Makes a big fold to a bluff. Losing a few million chips last hand and then gets it all in with a draw this time and doesn't get there. Derek will be taking home almost $10,000 today, 9,900 plus his bounties. And then there were four. Yeah, Casey and Mo were loving to watch that from the sideline there. Each of them laddering up. Yeah. yeah Extra couple thousand there. Good for 3,700 for somebody. And Waco Scrub now over 13 million as well. It's the King Jack of Clubs again. He had this hand a couple hands ago. Couldn't do much with it. See what he can do now. Mo defends the big blind with 9-7. It'll just flop Broadway, Waco Scrub, no big deal. Rainbow board. Rainbow board to go with it. Check, check, and now it's a one-liner. And spades come out there. He may have to fire a bet this time. Oh, what a bad turn. Shows it oh, as well. Oh, I needed you to have something there. <laughs> oh, you're like gonna throw those in as a pull. Like yeah, a pull and you're about to like snap them off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looks like the heater is on for Waco Scrub currently. Gonna put a heat check out on him this next hand. I'm gonna pull. Waco Scrub mentioning he wants to pull now after firing the Queen-5 offsuit into the muck. King-9 suited in the small blind for Mo. 425. Blind on blind here. Jack-8 of hearts for JP. Paired board here, and Mo with top pair. JP, who totally missed, but is in position here. It's going to take a stab. Not knowing that Mo is checking top pair into him. Yeah, Mo with the opportunity to go into check call here. 
He didn't do this before, but now does it. I like it. Try to keep JP's bluffs in, but JP smells the trap, gives up on it on the turn here. Moe's got the check mark. Can he get more value though? JP betting again. Check it so you can call it. Great hand by Mo here. Picks up some chips from the chip leader. Up over 7 million now. That does put Waco Scrub out in front. Chipping JP down a little bit. And then I do believe yep. before this next hand, we will see a pull. Yeah, scrub. I Waco scrub. At the bucket. We're going to do one more. Thank you. It'll be the last hand of this level. Blinds will be going up. Yeah, yeah, I can see the. After this one. one more hand at the level, the next hand, there you see it. Just. Four bounties. Four players remaining of over 1,200 entries. It's a lot closer to 1,300 entries than 1,200. And last hand of the 1 2 2 level, KC under the gun, which is also the cutoff. Looks down at an ace and gets out of the way. I think four handed. You might want to be playing any ace you find. Mo raises it up to one or to 450 with queen six on the dealer button. Suited hearts and JP finds a wheel ace as well. His is suited ace tray. Yeah, speaking of any ace, JP wants some Mo chips back. Makes the call. Scrub will get out of the way with 3-4 offsuit and we'll be heads up to the flop. Wow, would a flop trips. But instead, Mo getting some equity here with a queen high flush draw. JP still technically in the lead, but you can see it's a coin flip. Checks it over and Mo bets 600,000. JP not wanting to lose any more chips to Mo will get out of the way. And with that, blinds will go up 125, 250. Bringing our average stack back down to 37. Big blinds. I've been wanting to call Waco Scrub Scrub as well. I, I noticed you did that in chat and over the commentary here, but obviously not actually a scrub. Played really well to get down to this final four. And like we mentioned before, it's got some big scores back at the lodge. Yeah, obviously knows what he's doing, but that's the screen name he picked for himself, so I'm going to go with it. Sometimes I'll say Waco. Sometimes I'll say Scrub. Sometimes I'll say Waco Scrub. Not mad at it. He's not mad with this ace nine in the small blind. And he's going to raise it up to 1.6 million, putting the pressure back on Mo. 
but four-handed ace jack off suit very premium holding we may see mo playback right now really in the blender here. He just got all these chips. He's still a little under average stack. Hard to believe somebody has a better hand than ace jack when you're four handed. But he also doesn't want to lose a big chunk of his chips if somehow Waco Scrub Point did end up. Million. Does put it in though. Yeah. All Pressure back in. now on Waco Scrub. That additional pressure for all these players here is uh, KC is still on the table with the short stack. Yeah, and it's a big jump between fourth and first. And also, there's still a 10K bounty in the bucket and only five balls left, or four balls left, rather. At least they think there's a 10K in there. I, I don't know if we have confirmation of that, but... They've been talking about it, so. Only one way to find out, right? And if they all believe it's in there, then it is in there as far as play is concerned, Fold. right? <laughs> and Folds. Waco Scrub folding, and I believe showing the ace. I see. I don't know if I like that tactical decision. If he did show the ace there, showing yeah. that he would fold an ace four-handed, might not be a great idea. Or maybe it's a great, maybe it's a really great one. I don't know. <laughs> He's won more tournaments than I have. Yeah, I think sometimes. Those large stacks will do stuff like that just to kind of show like, hey, look, I'd sometimes not really just pushing you around, but I do agree with you. Sometimes some players will share a little too much info there. Ace Jack has found its way to KC now. KC down to three million. Just over 10 big blinds. And just limping in. Yeah, we've seen him, including on our monster stack final table, really elect for the passive route. But same thing as that monster stack final table, really ladders up and now gets rewarded. Top, top, and not so passive now. Puts the rest of his chips in. Yeah, about, uh, not quite two times pot there, about 1.7 times pot. JP doing some math. He's got a gut shot. He's got an over card. And he's got no hand. Casey will pick that one up. Once again, we do appreciate each and every one of you tuning in.
supporting your friends and local players here at this final table. Don't forget, hit that like and subscribe. Plenty of more streams to come. Tomorrow we have one of our usual cash streams, the PLO 5510 with the Stallions. And then it's back to final table action the rest of the week. The ladies final table, a high roller final table, and of course the mixed tournament of champions free roll. All happening this week. Yeah, excited about all those events. Three totally different tournament events. It's going to be really fun to watch each of them. And PLO with the Stallions is always entertaining. Two biggest stacks at the table, checking things down. So ace high will be good. Nice of those large stacks not to collide right now. They know they can uh, collect from these shorter stacks here. AC under the gun, Jack eight gets out of the way. And JP in the small blind with suited ace five. Definitely gonna see a raise here. How much? Blind versus blind, he goes for 650. Sorry, 750 is the bet. Waco scrub with a suited 10-7 will defend. Two big stacks going at it, and it's top two pair for Waco scrub. Wow. JP totally missing, but likely to lead out with an ace high. Yeah, ace high won't be good this time. Decides to check it. And Scrub betting just under a million, about half pot. JP getting out of the way, folding ace high, and it's a good fold. There's a look at the trophy for this event. Mystery Bounty. I love the look of the trophies for these series. Champions Club always going classy all the way. Yeah, and if you've ever been here to Champions in Houston, Texas, you'll get kind of that look and feel of that trophy back there. Yeah, a lot of the signage has that sort of modern geometric look. And KC with another suited wheel ace facing a raise from Mo. 7-6 offsuit versus ace tray of clubs. We will see a flop. 1.4 million in the middle. KC currently our shortest stack at the table. Now has three and a half million. And Mo connecting with bottom pair here. Half pot gets it done there. Really good shot of a large stack and those beautiful oversized chips here at Champions. The 500K plaques out in front, 
the 100K pearly white and blue and then the greens are 25K. Folds around to the button, Waco scrub with a suited queen, raising it up to 550. Gets KC to fold ace high, Mo will defend with king nine. Flush draw for Waco Scrub. King High still in the lead. Mo checks. Waco Scrub bets 300,000. Two pairs on board now, and it goes check, check. Total miss for both players. King High gets the check mark. And Mo will take this pot down. Waco Scrub with the rare limp Queen Jack offsuit. Mo makes the call from the small blind with Jack 9. And JP finds an ace in the big blind. Weak ace facing a limper. Decides to check it. We'll go three ways to the flop. Bunch of fives and fours again. No player with any of those. Wouldn't be surprised to see JP take a stab at this. That should be the flop that hits him. And as you say that, he looks down and grabs some chips. Yeah, it just makes sense. He's in the big blind, checked his option. All small cards. He's going to bet 375 and probably get it through. Yeah, doesn't have to go big. Just collect his big blind and ante back. Nicely done. Queen deuce, under the gun, don't think KC is going to do anything but fold that hand there. And the snow crab and the small blind for JP. Pulls out the leash and walks our guy Waco Scrub with Dan's hand. What a walk, what a, f what a good time to find it, right? About to run into that monster. Blind versus blind. King high is still good for KC.
check, check. Four liner on board. Waco Scrubs going to take a stab at it. KC with a gut shot. King High still good, but facing a bet of half pot. And he's only got three million chips. He is going to make the call. Let's see if Waco decides to continue to bet here. He will not. King High will take it down. Good call okay, from KC. Well, thank you, sir. Glad I could help. Folds around to the blinds. KC in the small blind with Jack Nine. Cool. Makes the call. Mo checks his option. Heads up to the flop. Mo in the lead with Queen Eight until the flop. KC picks up bottom pair. Gut shot for Mo. And KC will bet and take it down. Raj Kumar in chat. Finally giving the commentators some love. The players get too much of it. We need it as, as well. KC finds an ace. Decides to play it. What is going on? Four-handed and four ways to the flop? What, what? It's a party. Very exciting. That has never happened on this table. Family pot. Fours in the lead going into the flop. Jack seven. Top, not so top for JP. Club draw for Joe. Let's go along with everybody. Gut shots for two of the players. Everybody with a little something. It checks all the way around, and now Mo's going to fire with the club draw. We lose one player in the hand. JP makes the call with the sevens. And KC reaching for chips. Needs a six or a nine that's not a club. But instead a jack comes off. Mo now getting top pair. JP, two pair. Yeah. 
JP firing out a bet of 1.3. And Mo might be forced to call here, having rivered top pair. He does call JP, showing the goods and taking down a pot worth 5 million chips. And he is now back up over 13 million. Yeah, that one could have gotten real dicey real quick. Pretty connected board there. Four players in it at one point. JP, happy to take that one down. Long stare at Queen Deuce there. Likely hoping it would change somehow. <laughs> right. Just rub one of those pips off. Yeah. Turn it into an ace. Mo raising it up with a suited king and Waco Scrub in the big blind with ace 10 suited, just calling. Both players hit the flop. Waco Scrub with aces checking into Mo. Yeah, Mo thinking he probably would have heard from a <laughs> an ace pre-flop. Didn't face aggression pre-flop, so there's no way Waco Scrub has top pair here, right? Shouldn't have it, right? Limp with an ace. Check the flop. Checks there, too. Gonna have, gonna have to fire a bet now, Waco. That's half pot, exactly, 1.2 million. Again, forced to pay for Mo. Well, masterfully played by Waco Scrub. Takes down another nice pot. These pots do add up, especially when you're losing them. Shot at Mo. Thinking about his last couple hands. He is chipping down a little bit now as two other players are chipping up. Yep. Waco One. Scrub and JP between them having over 26 million in chips. The other two players splitting 10 million. Pretty one-sided on that side of the table right now. And Mo raising it up to 600,000 from under the gun. Mystery hand. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Mystery hand oh turned winning hand. Takes, takes it down. It, yep, takes without it down a fight. without a fight indeed. If I got two deuces, I was going to all in. I believe it. <laughs> deuces, KC's favorite hand. So with that, I think we are going to take a quick technical break here. Graphics seem to have lost a bit of a connection, so the players will get a paused clock, and then we will jump right back into things. Playing down to a winner, our $400 buy-in mystery bounty final table. Quick reminder, we do have morning high hands every day from 9 a.m. to noon. Best hand of the hour not only wins a pot, but wins an additional $200. One whole card must play, must be $20 in the pot, really easy to hit. 
Champion's just giving money away. <laughs> also, every evening, a $1,000 cash drawing at 10 p.m. From 4 to 10 p.m., you earn tickets from a hitting a flush or better and double tickets between midnight and 8 a.m. There's another really good look at it. I've hit two straight flushes during this period, quads once as well. Flushes and full houses are easy, but quads, straight flushes, get extra, extra tickets, more chances to win for you. So, like I said, Champion's really just giving it away here. If you're like me, you love some food, there is a promo for that as well. Grind it out, play eight hours of cash during February, and earn a $25 food comp. Those are stackable. You can save them up, use them, treat yourself, but they will expire by the end of February. Looks like they may have figured out what the issue was. Should be coming back into the action. Blind level still the same at 125, 250. Four players remaining. Good look at the whole final table area there. And JP starts this one off. Hand number 56, under the gun, pocket trays. Gonna raise it up to five and a quarter. Fold from the button and KC in the small blind looking down at ace deuce. He will get out of the way. And Mo with King Nine suited, reaching for calling chips. We will see a flop. Gut shot for Mo. Trey's still in the lead for JP. Tough spot here. Some middling cards out there. But 50 50 shot that your opponent did not hit that flop. JP's going to fire out again. Betting 550,000. Mo will make the call. Got shot over card. Backdoor hearts. Plenty of stuff to work with. We see it's a coin flip. Board pairs. Good news for JP. Although it may not feel good having trays and getting called on the flop. is going to lead out here. Totally misses. 7-4 gets there though, so he's like, I'm going to bet 1.5 million. I know here at Champions, when 7-4 gets there, you're supposed to bet. Mm -hmm. 
and JP in the blender trying to figure out what changed with a four on the river. Makes the call with the trays and the chip stack goes up to over 16 million now. Huge call there for JP. Drags the pot. That's why they call them the draggers. That's right. Stacking the 25Ks and got probably the largest stack of plaques there, those 500K plaques. He's got the largest stack of any of the denominations, I think. <laughs> Definitely has the most chips at this table. And Mo, after it folds around to the blinds, is going to jam it all in here with ace high. And JP dominated with king seven. Might be tempted to call with King High here. Thinking Mo's steaming and also short on chips. But Four million, that's enough to work with. JP doesn't want to give him the chips back, makes a good fold. Playing well is JP. And dealer change coming up here. The level's going to be going up. Take another look at the promos that we've got going on here. Come visit us at Champions Club here in Houston, 6440 West Sam Houston Parkway South in Houston, Texas. We just talked about these promos, so don't necessarily have to do that again right now. But please, if you're enjoying yourself, give us a like and a subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We got PLO with the Stallions coming up tomorrow at 7 p.m., Final tables from the Winter Poker Open the rest of the week. If you're in the Houston area, come on down and check it out. We have mega satellites to our main event going all day. Omaha sweats for seats. We also still have other tournaments going on. Tomorrow, 5 p.m., we've got the Pot Limit Mix. That'll be the final event in the Mixed Game Series, the mini-series within the series, and then we've got the Mixed Game Championship final table on Wednesday. That'll be our Wednesday stream. And don't forget about our $1 million guaranteed main event, $1,500 buy-in, flights started today and go throughout the week. KC all in, ace king of diamonds under the gun, folds around. He'll take down a set of blinds and annies. Much needed. No. <laughs> Make it less than I call. <laughs> and blinds are up now. With blinds at 15300 the average stack is now 30 bigs. But JP having so many chips changes that average for the shorter stacks, obviously. Mo all in for four million with King 10. Gets folds around, KC folding ace high there. Dirty diaper. I'll take it. Cost me nothing. True. 
Well, you're in the small. Cost yourself. Uh, yeah, but that was already dead money. Sure. So I count that as zero investment. Ship leader JP wakes up with ace queen under the gun, raises it up. No takers. KC on the button with pocket nines. About 10 big blinds in his stack and he jams them all into the middle. JP, the big stack in the big blind, like getting a count. Lydia counting them out. JP will make the fold. And KC picking up another set of blinds and antes. One free orbit for him. Little pickups are so important when you're the short stack. Blinds come around super fast when it's four-handed. You really have to try to win one every orbit. And your range, of course, has to be wider when it's four-handed. You can't just wait for premium aces and big pairs. JP with the nines now. Folds around to the blinds. And JP in the small blind with nines, as you said, reaching for raising chips. Goes to 950, it looks like. And Waco scrub with a rough king. But again, you have to widen your range when it's four handed could easily choose to defend with king high. Wisely, in this case, gets out of the way. Can hear Joe P in the background announcing all in, call, and showdown. He is dealing one of the main event tables in the back there. 1,500 buy-in, 1 million guarantee, there are 73 entries on this first flight for us. Folds around to the blinds yet again. Waco Scrub waking up with Ace Jack offsuit makes it 1.2. Really putting the pressure on KC, who is a short stack in the big blind, and he has a premium holding as well. King Queen suited. These chips might be going in. Now we have seen KC limp with some pretty big hands and see a flop, see where he's at. I think just about any other player would get the, st the stack would already be in the middle. Yeah, KC going for just the call. Yeah, we've seen this quite a bit today and when he was playing, as you said, on the monster stack table. And it seemed to work out pretty well for him. This time, not going to work out. Flopping middle pair, facing an all-in bet. He has to get it in there. And he's going to be behind and need some help. 
running clubs. Needs a king. Needs another queen. Picks up the stand-up equity immediately. But, wow. You and see it there. Another ace rolls off. So drawing dead mark. on the turn, unfortunately, for KC. Played super well. Came in here right in the middle in stacks with just under four Last million in turn. chips. Laddered all the way up to fourth place, taking home $12,600. We also saw him pull over 6000 in bounties on this final table. He probably had some other bounties earlier in the tournament as well. So great tournament for KC and great run on this final table. Down to on three the now. On the yeah, it's a dead small one. Everybody here guaranteed at least 18,800. But of course, everybody looking for that top spot. 38, 128. And now, Waco Scrub picking up another bounty. There's only four balls left in there, and I think one of them's $10,000. Is that correct? That's what the players are saying. Yeah. We'll have to stick around and find out. JP dealt one of my favorite hands, Jack 10. Suited to diamonds. Computer hand suited in the big blind for Mo. Easy defend. Swing and a miss for both players. Queen high still in the lead. These players might be thinking back to heads up to a flop when Mo flopped. King nine on a nine deuce deuce board. Similar configuration here, just no pair for either player. Such a tough spot for the shorter stacks there. They're going to miss the flop half the time, and JP is going to put the pressure on 90% of the time. And there we have Dave Phelps putting the trophy on the table. Just a reminder of one of the things these players are playing for. The other 38,128 things being first place money. King Queen offsuit under the gun for Waco Scrub. Raising it up, makes it a million. And JP with a suited jack in the big blind. Giving it some thought, he will get out of the way. Very deliberate player. Doesn't get out of line much, but also doesn't make snap decisions. Looks like we might have a family member in chat, Jared Park, asking if they're already giving JP the stone. Stone is a correct description. They do look like uh, blocks here, but they do have a lot of weight behind them. Those trophies for every event winner. JP finding a suited king in the small blind, raising to 950. And Waco Scrub going to defend. 
Seventh tray suited. Two million in the middle. The big stacks going at it. And scrub flopping top pair. A quick check from JP and the bet is 600,000 from Waco Scrub. JP will get out of the way. Suited ace jack and chips quickly finding the middle for Mo. Made sure to put that bounty chip out there as well. Almost like a come and get it. That's a meaningful chip, especially if you're Waco Scrub, who already has one bounty left to pull. If there is 10K in that bucket and only f a four. Good hit. Balls. Good hit. <laughs> you got a pretty good shot of hitting that 10K if you got two that's, that's way, chips. Way, 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 way a hit. Shows the ace jack. Good fold I'm by Waco there, Scrub. About getting stupid, so. nice. And Waco giving out a little more free information. We don't know if he I'm showed his cards there. I don't think he do did, so he could be lying. But we know he's telling the truth. Yeah, I think if the three was not a three, if the king was suited, would have been at least a tougher decision that could have gone either way for Waco Scrub. But it does get rewarded with a nice hand here. A suited a six. And likely to get some of those chips back from Mo now as Mo almost certainly won't defend with nine high in the small blind. Action on JP in the big blind now with a couple of fives in his hand. Is it a just call or is it a raise? It's the only question here. He's never folding. Just call. Pretty easy for fives to get outflopped and no sense in stacking off or escalating things between these two big stacks with Mo on the table. And Waco Scrub smashing the flop. Pair and, a f and nut flush draw. Probably not super proud of sixes, but we know. He's got JP drawing almost dead. Yeah, JP needs to pick up some outs here on the turn. Backdoor straight outs, a possibility. Gut shot as uh, 
Waco scrub just turns the nut flush here. Would have liked to see a check back there, but he leads, bets out 850. This pot starting to bloat above the size of Moe's stack. Wow, JP making the call here. A red four would be a disaster. Instead, it's a board pair. Waco Scrub still with the nut flush way out in front. JP checking his option. Waco Scrub betting just over half pot. And if you're JP and you thought you were good on the turn, you have to think you're good on the river. May be forced to pay him off here. It's a very value sized bet. 7.25 in the pot, 2.6 to call. JP makes this call. Waco Scrub is going to have about half the chips in play. We did see JP make the correct hero call with pocket threes not too long ago. Sounds like we have somebody on the rail. Puts in the Gets call. The call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard for you to have. I mean, you got six, seven, or something weird there. It's gonna and get real that, brutal on me. But. Waco scrub now over twenty-two million in chips. Goes past half the chips in play, almost two thirds of the chips in play. Dominating lead. And he still has a bounty to pull. And Mo sitting back there. Can't believe his luck. I mean, he, that, that almost has to feel like a ladder up. <laughs> no, exactly. That gives him a shot to ladder up here. Big chunk coming out of JP's stack. He st still has almost three times as many chips as Mo, but yeah. Mo has to feel really good about that. And now JP in the small blind with a suited queen, raising it up, trying to get some momentum going back his way. And look at this, Waco Scrub, same suit, Ace-10. Just running pure right now. Huge favorite. Putting in a big raise to three million. And that would be over a quarter of JP's stack. Started the hand with just over 11 million. Yeah, Waco Scrub and definitely targeting that stack, trying to get JP 
down to roughly that stack we see there. If he can level the two of them out, he can really just put the pressure on. Yeah, JP, I got to imagine in his head is probably thinking, what, what are you doing, man? Go after the small guy. But I think in Waco Scrubs head, you guys are both small guys. I'm going after both of you. Yeah. <laughs> Big momentum shift after that hand between JP and Waco Scrub. Hand number 70 of this final table. King high flop brings a rainbow on board and Waco Scrub, why wouldn't he hit a pair right now? Bets it, takes it, next hand. Waco scrub with a pocket pair, but it's deuces. Sometimes they never loses. The rare limp in and Mo in the small blind with the draggers. Less than 10 big blinds, shoves it all in. And wow, JP's got king 10. Facing a limp and a jam, but three-handed, king-10, not a horrible hand here, and a lot of times in tournament play, if you just call here, the other guy's just going to call too, try to swat the fly, but JP could be worried that Waco limped in with a monster and will re-jam. JP makes the call, and now Waco Scrub. I have a pair. In a p weird spot, he makes the fold, and it turns out it's a good fold, but he's got so many chips, he probably could have made the call there and went set mining, try to eliminate the short stack. And it, he knows that that call from JP is pretty strong. And... Trey's still in the lead for Mo here, but he is at risk. JP with two over cards and the bigger stack. Mo needs to stay alive here. JP picking up a gut shot to go along with his over cards. Mo still a 77% favorite. Just need to fade those 10 outs, and he does. And turns out it was a good fold on the part of our chip leader. It was deuces. Yes, I have two red deuces. I got the only pair you could beat. And that's why Mo loved seeing JP and Waco Scrub collide early. Doubles through JP, and those two short stacks are now leveled. Yeah, basically even between the two of them. Anybody's game for between the second and third place. Now, one of these guys looking to take a chunk out of Waco and make it a three man game again. Yeah, and a reminder of what they're playing for 38,128 up top. Second will take 24,378, and third, 18,000. 804. Obviously, that's barring any sort of ICM 
or chop deal. And Mo raising it up to a million now with nine eight suited. Gets two folds, takes down another set of blinds and annies. And just like that, momentum swinging his way. Yeah, Raj in chat saying that was an interesting fold by the Ducks, the pocket deuces. It's just a good ICM fold. There's no reason to put additional chips in that pot for Waco Scrub. 750. Wow. Mo jamming it all in with ace four. With that pickup, I think he actually does pull into second and in chips. And blinds, I believe, just went up two and four hundred thousand. Average stack now at thirty again. 30 big blinds, that is. About 12 million per player would be average. But Waco with 22 million basically double the average stack with three players remaining. Keeping the pressure on makes it 975. JP thinking about making a move for a moment. What gets out of the way? Sorry. And you are correct, JP now third in chips of the three players. Just over six million in his stack. Mo with just over eight. Yeah, and this just goes to show you how quickly things can change in tournament poker. JP with that chip lead not too long ago. Silver lining, he does have the Houston Texans season tickets. That was one of the mystery bounty pulls. Only right for him to pull that when he's got the Texans swag on today. JP's queen high stays good, fires at the flop and takes it down. Blind versus blind, Waco scrub in the small blind with queen 10 will limp in. Mo with 9-8 offsuit checks his option, we'll see a flop. Open ender for Mo. He also has the only spade in the hand. Waco picking up middle pair. Goes check, check. And the spades get there. Mo with the straight flush draw. And checks it. Board pairs at the end for nobody. Yeah, Waco taking a stab at it now. 
Mo checked himself into an extra 400,000. He'll be taking down that 2 million pot. Oh, Jesus. Nice hand. Yeah, I think without that 10, maybe checks it there at the end. Waco Scrub maybe thinking uh, Spade would have bet before the fourth one rolled off as well, or bet it when it came. Also could have just been a blocker bet there at the end. JP with Queens in the big blind. Mo has limped in with King High. JP was hoping for more action than that with the Queens. But any pot's a good pot. Another premium hand for JP. Blind versus blind. He's in the small blind with ace jack. My apologies. Mo raised it up with ace eight to a million. So not blind versus blind. But JP is in the small blind here. His action. Moves it all in for over seven million. Scrub gets out of the way. Queen nine in the big blind. And now Mo put in the blender. Ace high, three handed. Yeah, good fold there. JP, not so short that he's forced to jam with just any hand. Right. Highly unlikely to be jamming with uh, something that wasn't uh, at least a flip there. Yeah. Could be a middle pair. <clears throat> Highly Made, unlikely to be yeah. a worse ace. Made hand or a stronger ace that is worth jamming. And again, that type of ace that Moe's holding doesn't want to be calling off, would rather be the aggressor. Typically the non all in aggressor. 100%. And I'm not even going to try to dig a rare walk. <laughs> On to the next one. Yeah, Scrub obviously knows the value of his chip stack. Doesn't want to waste any of those chips there. Has the stack to do it, but doesn't want to burn the value of it. Sure, you want to apply pressure, but you also want to have some equity. Yeah, and after Moe's Climbed back up, chipped back up here. Scrub's going to be tightening up a little bit more. 
Takes that one down with the jack nine, though. Raises to 1.1 million. No takers. Two black sixes buried in the small blind. Makes it 1.2 million. And Waco scrub with two over cards, but again, pretty weak ace. Could go either way with this one. I call. He chooses to call. Gut shots for each player. Waco scrub with backdoor hearts. JP still in the lead with the sixes. JP makes a set. Scrub makes a straight. And if Scrub makes a pair of sevens, JP hits his gut shot. JP leads out for 1.1 and a quick call from Waco Scrub as this pot approaches the size of JP's stack. JP was 6.1 behind, pot now 5 million. Board pairs. Giving JP more outs. Excuse me giving Waco Scrub a couple more outs, but now if he makes the straight, JP fills up. And JP continues to fire. One million four hundred and fifty thousand. Scrub left with just ace high. It's a strong line by JP. And a call from Waco Scrub. Now almost eight million in the middle. JP takes this down. It's gonna put him really close to the same stack size as Waco. Bricks on the river. Sixes and eights good for JP here. Waco Scrub missing the ace from space and the counterfeit opportunities to the nine. And it's check, check, and JP takes it down. Sixes, good. Now he's up over 12 million. Waco Scrub down to 17. Everybody at the table hates seeing that, except for JP. Where are the JP fans in chat? How about the spin up there? JP on the button with ace eight, raising it up again. And Waco gets out of the way with ace six. Mo in the big blind, king high.
Mo will defend. JP smashes the flop. Mo drawing only two backdoor wheel outs. Checks it. JP flops so strong, he might want to check it back. Yeah. Can we get a heat check on this guy right here? Bet 700,000. Small C bet, but Mo has nothing to defend with. Gets out of the way. JP definitely with the momentum again. And you can see it on Waco Scrub's face. A little bit of exasperation. These guys have been playing now for over 11 hours. Probably a little bit of fatigue setting in as well. Yeah, and with the way I know JP grinds some cash out, he may have been playing early this morning too. Mo on the button with sevens. He's got about 14 big blinds. He's going to jam it all in. JP will not defend Queen Deuce in the small blind. Waco scrub, though, with Jack 8 suited. Might give it some thought. 14 bigs, just too much. Doesn't want to give the short stack equal footing here and nice play there with the sevens picking up a full orbit of blinds and annies Waco Scrub limping in with Queen 5. Mo checking his option. We have blind versus blind going to the flop. Queen high in the lead. And flopping two pair. Top and bottom. Mo drawing virtually dead. Fires out 500,000. Needs running trips to win. Call from Waco, fills up on the turn, checks it again, see if Mo will fire, no. And a meaningless eight on the river. And now Scrub will fire. Mo has nothing to defend with. JP gets the walk, has a premium. I'm gonna pull before the break. Yeah, I wanna. Or before the break, whatever. Yeah, I'll find a stick at the end of the break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, sounds good. Sounds like we're getting close to the end of a level there. I heard tournament director Dave in the background. We will be taking a short break and pulling those bounty uh, that bounty for Waco Scrub during or before that break. Got a chance of pulling 10,000. JP limping in from the small blind with King High and Waco Scrub waking up with King Jack suited. Very strong hand, three-handed. Raising big to 1.9. Take it down right there. In the microphone, they were like 1.9. Now that we've seen some tournament variants recently and we have a break in coming. I wouldn't be surprised if these players uh, do a little talking while on break. Maybe look at some numbers. Probably depends on what happens with our chip leaders, Ace Jack suited right here. Mo moves all in with King High. Quick call from Waco Scrub, and Mo has a chance to be eliminated or double up right here. If Mo pulls this off, I think you're right. They're definitely going to be talking deal. If Waco Scrub eliminates Mo right here, I think maybe not. Wow. What a flop here. Pair for each player. Waco Scrub with the best of it and a chance to spike Broadway and yep. end it all. Mo, Mo needing to hit a king or an eight again here. And not well getting played. there. Wow. Just as we were thinking about that, <laughs> it's an all in and a call, and Mo is going home. And now, Waco Scrub will be pulling two bounties. And we're down to two players. And each of those players guaranteed at least $24,000. Mo, who came into the final table right at average stack, right in the middle of the pack, laddered all the way up to third place. He'll be taking home over $18,000 plus his bounties today. What a great run. Great job at this table. Played real hard with a, with a short stack for a lot of the tournament, or a lot of the final table, I should say. Now we're down to just a couple of players left. We'll be Pulling a couple of bounties. Only th three balls left in there. Well, Kyle, we're heads up. And we've got one player who came in with over 7 million chips, second in chips when they sat down. And we've got another player who came in with 6.5. So two of the three biggest stacks played their way to the top two in the tournament. One of these guys got the bounty he wanted, the Houston Texan tickets. So he's already a 10K winner there, plus a bunch of bounties. And Waco Scrub has collected a number of bounties as well. These guys have just done really well in this uh, bounty tournament. Yeah, I'm happy to see it. We've had a lot of great play here at the final table. Understandably so. It's hard to make these deep runs with a field of more than 1,200 entries. Best players usually do come out on top. Yeah, Waco Scrub has a lot of final table experience. He reported to us uh, that he 
won two big events at the Lodge last year. Uh, I saw some chatter on the uh, chat talking about his uh, hand and mob results from last year were just stacked. So this guy, obviously a very good tournament player. And uh, we've seen JP before as well. He final tabled a couple of events on our last series of tournaments, the Fall Poker Open, and he's doing great here, obviously, in this event as well. So, yeah, two super strong players find themselves heads up, battling it out for 38K. Taking a look at the promo still going on here at Champions Club in Houston, Texas. We are continuing with the $1,000 drawings every day at 10 p.m. Play cash, win tickets for flushes or better during certain hours of the day, 4 p.m. to 10 p.m., and then again from midnight to 8 a.m. every single day, giving away $1,000 at 10 p.m. What a great promo. Also, if you play cash, if you play eight hours in one day, you're going to earn yourself 25 in food comps. Those comps are good for the entire month of February. You can save those up and stack them. The food here is excellent. Save those food comps and get yourself a steak. I recommend any of them. <laughs> They're all great. Yeah, you had mentioned just before those promos that... um. Waco Scrub there got quite the Hinden Mob developing within the last year for himself. Best live cash of 176,720. That was from that high roller event, 10K buy in at the lodge. As so we see him do some bounty pulls here, there's two bounty pulls for him to go. He gets half the balls, half of them. I believe there's still a 10K in there. Let's find out what he gets. First one, 500. That's not what he was looking for. Second one, oh, the other 500. Well, now he has to win the tournament. Win the tournament and you eliminate yourself, you get both of those balls. Two pulls for the price of one knockout. And coming back to the final table. We are going to have Mr. Dave Phelps there do a little bit of a color up. More plaques hit the felt. They are playing for 38000 up top. And that trophy that you see there in the middle. Once again, this was a $400 buy-in event. Close to 1300 in entries. Total prize pool of over 420000 just smashing the guarantee. And this isn't even our biggest event. We did kick off the first flight of our 1500 buy-in main event. It's a million dollar guarantee. Tons of people coming in from all over the country to play in that. Dan Fouts from Champions Poker Live here. I'm sitting with James Gleason, the general manager of Champions Club. How's it going today, James? Doing great, Dan. Thanks so much for having me. It's good to see you. It seems like we used to see each other all the time. Before the club opened, we were here uh, 9 to 5, just day in, day out. And uh, now I'm working nights in the truck, and you're just here doing <laughs> everything all day long. So it's good to see you. Yeah. Um, tell us... You do everything here at the club. Um, what is new right now in food and beverage? Food and beverage right now um, is breakfast. Uh, I'd like to certainly have the opportunity to have people here for breakfast if you're staying over or if you're traveling through the area. Um, we have a great little uh, breakfast program going on that we just started a week ago. We also have a breakfast promo going as well. If you could book a room with here on our website and have breakfast included for you or another person, an additional charge. So I'd love to have you take advantage of that. 
That's great. We can't go a single stream without somebody mentioning how great the food is. And, and of course, the superstar, the star of the club, Connie, the chef. So I'm excited that they're now going to be offering breakfast as well because yeah. everybody likes that, especially uh, if the poker game runs through the whole night in early in the morning. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah, and absolutely. We do have a, an overnight uh, person that we're going to be starting soon, too. We're going to be offering uh, an overnight program uh, and to-go service as well. That's great. So another thing that I've noticed here at the club that is great for the poker room, especially for these bigger tournaments like the Winter Poker Open that's coming up, is expanded parking. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we were able to find out some space out in front of the hotel. Uh, we were able to fit approximately another 165, 170 spots uh, to host any kind of uh, large events that we have coming up this weekend. So it's great to have. That is awesome. I know that's great for the staff, especially because when we have these big events, a lot of times it was like, you guys park a mile shoveling away. people, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we have other things here at the uh, Champions Club besides just the hotel and the poker room. We do offer uh, VIP rooms that you can uh, rent for either private events or uh, we're also open to charity events. Tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. Um, we have a nice uh, room right next door here to the streaming room, the VIP room, which is going to be available for birthday parties, bachelor parties, any kind of celebration. And we can order right off a la carte menus from the chef, um, which Dan already said is an outstanding food we have here. Charity events is something that we really want to start en uh, engaging this year. And we already have two contracts out now to uh, host a uh, charity event. And that can be certainly worked out. You come in here, speak to myself, April Phelps, our poker director, and we'll get you on the books for a nice charity, something um, which we'd love to be involved with. That's great. I've run or been involved with a number of charity poker tournaments in my years in poker, and it's great to see that coming to Houston. If you're involved with a charity and you want to bring that to Champions Club, we have the best staff you could ever ask for to run a poker tournament for you, and then we can take however you want to split that up. Some of that proceeds could go to your charity. Some of it could go towards winners of the poker tournament, et cetera, et cetera. Be sure to reach out to us at championsclubtexas.com and talk to our poker staff about that. Um, what else you got for us, James? Is there anything else that you wanted to talk about today? Uh, no, just to take care of the food and beverage. Um, certainly you'd like to have a little more traffic there. And you know, we have an excellent uh, food and beverage manager here now. We have some great cocktails in the mix. We have a mixologist on board that's giving us new specials every single week. So we have drink specials throughout the week and for the weekend. Take advantage of our draft beer specials we have on the weekends and uh, mix cocktails. So love to have you here for a couple drinks with us. Awesome, that's James Gleason. He's the general manager here. Don't forget, we're the only poker club in Texas that has a full service hotel, restaurant, and bar. Come on down, stay and play here at Champions Club Texas, 6440 West Sam Houston Park, Parkway South in Houston. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, James. Dan Faust here with Champions Poker Live. I'm sitting with Matt. All right, after a reset of seats, we are back. Heads up. Blinds still at 200,000, 400,000. Now the blinds reverse when you're heads up, so the player on the button is the small blind and will act first. And that player currently is Waco Scrub. JP in the big blind now facing a raise to 1.1 million. Waco with King Deuce suited. We will see a flop. King High still good. Both players miss the flop. Check, check, and a six of diamonds pairs the board. King high, still good. Check, check, again. Sorry, check from JP and a bet from Waco. 700,000. JP makes the call with queen high. Might be trying to set up a move here on the river. It's an ace on the river. Four million in the middle. JP with about 11.6 in his stack. It's going to go check, check, though, and Waco Scrub will take it down with king high.
and the rich get richer. Waco Scrubs lead increasing. JP reaching for chips with King High, raising it up, makes it 850,000 to go, and Waco Scrub with Queen Jack. Now heads up, these are both strong hands. Both players looking to see a flop here. JP currently in the lead, 2 million in the middle. And Waco taking the lead, flopping top pair. Waco checking top pair, JP continuing to fire, 1.1 million the bet. And Waco Scrub raising to three million. We've got our audio back, little snafu there coming back from break. Back in the action. JP gets out of the way of that one in Waco Scrub, winning both of the hands since we came back with just the two of them. Increasing that lead, look at all of those plaques. And with a better hand yet again. Two junky jacks, one of them slightly less junky than the other. And connecting. Bottom pair for Waco Scrub. Check, check, check. Check, check. And JP picking up some chop outs. Both players open ended. JP bets. And Scrub makes the call very quickly. And Waco's six still in the lead. But JP is first and has a chance to take a stab at this. And he's counting out plaques. Taking some inventory. Looks like he's going to go big and polarizing if that's his bet. He does. Over bets the pot. Three point eight million. Gets Waco to lay down the better hand. Oh, might be because of my hoodie. I put my hoodie on because of the Oh, okay. And now 10 million in chips for him, 26 million for Waco Scrub. So we see our producer, Eddie Bat, coming in to check on microphones or something. That's the guy to talk to if you want to get on the stream. If you are interested in playing, there is a link in the description below. Click on that link and fill out the form. It goes to Ed and he will get a hold of you. Adding new players all the time to our cash game streams. 
when we don't have big tournament series going on, we do four cash game streams per week. All kinds of different levels. Our typical streams are 5-5-10 five, five, PLO on Tuesdays, and then we do either 5-5 five, five or 5-10 five, on Wednesdays and Thursdays, no limit hold'em, and then a 1-3 game or 5-5 five, five on Friday. Occasionally we'll get bigger games when we have special players come to town. And once per quarter we have Poker Go come in and do some big No Limit Hold'em streams. Let us know what you're interested in. Waco Scrub waking up with Big Slick on the dealer button. Makes it 1.1. And blinds are going up next hand to 250 and 500,000. Seven four gets there. Ace King still in the lead this hand. Check. Check. Running hearts would be covered by Waco Scrub, but how about just a Ace of Diamonds on the turn? Bets one point six. Two point six in the middle. JP gets out of the way. Lines now we'll put those out there. Like this up to two fifty yeah. and five hundred thousand. Total of about fifty big blinds on the table now. Typically see these big no limit tournaments end when there's a total of 40 big blinds on the table. Great. 1 .1. But with Waco having a two to one advantage, this could end at any time. JP trying to change that though, raising it up, queen nine. And he is dominating right now if Waco Scrub decides to defend. And he will, reaching for chips. Good chance for JP to increase his stack. Sure. But unfortunately for him, Waco Scrub hitting this flop, bottom pair, and flipping those equities upside down. Six fifty. Six hundred fifty thousand. Waco Scrub just running pure right now. Cool. JP gets out of the way. Pocket deuces for JP. Waco scrub with nine seven makes the call. JP trying to decide if he wants to jam with this little pair, and he does. All in for seven million. Waco will pick a better spot than nine seven to make that call. Yeah, no need to go with a less than marginal option there. He knows that JP's not going to do that lightly. Seven eight for JP. Uh, 
making the call. Waco Scrub looking down at a suited queen will check. No pair, no wear. Queen high, still good. JP with a gut shot. Takes a stab at it and takes it down. I like the heads up play here so far. A lot of players can sometimes find themselves heads up and inexperienced with the format. Potentially fold too much. We've got to see flops in the heads up format. Yeah, you're you're almost always getting the right call no, odds to call, especially in the small blind. Your opponent will have to put pressure on you. Both of these players, as you said, very experienced. So they're gonna apply pressure in the right spots. One pair. I got a pair. King. King. JP catching up on the river there, takes it down. And that's three small pots in a row, which has to feel good. Get that momentum going your way. Feels weird putting a million chips out there every hand. <laughs> million chips every hand. Starting stack for this tournament was 30,000. Puts a little perspective on how large this field was. I remember when I got to a million, thought I was really doing good. <laughs> Seems like it was yesterday. Well, it's after midnight now, so it was yesterday. <laughs> well, came to this final table with only 6.5 million in your stack. I mean, that's putting a sixth of your chips in every big blind <laughs> at that point. JP taking down another one. Slowly inching his stack up. He got down to about six and a half million there for a second. Now up over 10 again. Waco still with the dominating lead, but momentum is really a thing when it comes to poker. Interesting to note as well. Both these players played their day one on the same day. Waco Scrub had bagged 434,000. So that was his start to day two. JP bagging 213,000. JP with ace jack raised this one up pre. Waco defending the button with 7 5. Flops the best of it, but JP does have a better flush draw. Th three diamonds on board. And Waco raising it up, putting the pressure on. That's half JP's stack. JP all in. 
And now Waco in the blender. Middle pair, bad flush draw. JP could have him dead. If he folds this hand, he goes down to less than 20 million. JP goes up to about 17 million to anybody's game. 9.8. 9,825,000. Makes the call. Could end it right here. Or end up the short stack. Yeah, and the initial sizing of the 4.1 seemed like it was doing exactly what we see. Trying to deny this draw We have the benefit of seeing the cards and seeing the equities. Easy call if you see that, right? But if JP already has a flush, he's drawing dead. If JP has a nine and a flush draw, he's basically drawing dead. It's, it's such a hard call. He makes the call. We do see the flip here. It's a coin flip for the tournament. JP wins this one. The chip stacks flip as well. Make the right read now hold. Safe turn card for Waco Black Shrub. JP needs some help here. Needs a diamond, needs an ace, needs a jack. 13 outs, Let's one time. Go. Doesn't get it. Too many out syndrome. Delivers the win to Waco Scrub here. And JP eliminated in second place. JP, though, taking home those season tickets to the Houston Texans, along with the other bounties that he collected, and over $24,000. Waco Scrub will now get the remaining two bounties. I believe one of those is going to be $10,000. And... $38,128 in addition to all of the other bounties he collected. What a great tournament for both of these players. Thank you all for joining us out there. Be sure to give us a like and a subscribe. Come on back tomorrow night, 7 p.m. for Pot Limit Omaha with the Stallions. If tournament poker is more your thing, hit, the, hit that notification bell. We've got three more tournament final tables coming up this week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We've got the ladies' event coming up. We've got the mixed tournament of champions free roll coming up, and then the high roller final table. Again, thank you all for joining us, and here we'll take a look at those remaining two bounties. What do we got? Sounds like he turned his mic off, but there's the 10K. Ten K and a one K pool. Ten K and a one K. Eleven thousand in addition to the thirty-eight thousand and all of the other bounties that he pulled. What a great tournament for Waco Scrub. Yeah, comes into this with over 340000 in total live earnings, 38000 alone, and just first place money for him. Tons of thousands and bounties. Great job here by all the players, and Alicia breaks it out for the winner's photo here. From Champions Club in Houston, Texas, this is Dan Fouts with Kyle Miller. Thanking you all for joining us and sticking around for the whole thing. Be sure to give this a like and a subscribe. As we said, more tournament poker coming up for the rest of the week. And PLO with the Stallions tomorrow. 
We'll see you all then.